Mic check. Mic check. Three two. Mic check. Three two one. Three two one. Mic check to Excalibur. <laughs> Excalibur. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Good Here we are, everybody. Good Welcome to some SBF basketball. Tonight, we're going to watch the Magic City Stingrays take on the Talons of Charm City. Both teams 5-1 and one right now. Magic City last night had a heartbreaking loss to the Stallions. Of which Vince Hart missed a wide open end of the game three. Let's see if they can bounce back tonight. It looks like they made some drastic changes in the starting lineup. Gave Nick Ridenour some reduced minutes since he was a big factor in why they lost. Alongside me, like always, are my two partners in crime. We got Lion and Bishop. Welcome. How's it going? It's going good. All right, a couple seconds away from tip-off here. Keys to victory for the uh, for the Talons tonight, Lion. Well, when you talk about lineup changes, we're seeing Champ Hansen in his first game in a Talons uniform. I think mm. a big question is whether or not they're going to get him more involved because he was a very efficient player back in his previous team. And they really need the help from the big man position, so it's not just Reggie down low. Yeah, I'd, I'd really like to see what Champ can do in an increased role. Now, speaking of Champ's previous team, we have the owner of the Tornadoes with us on commentary tonight, Bishop. How do you feel seeing Champ wearing the uh, red and black down there? He was my boy, but I'm glad to see him in a Talon's uniform. And his first bucket is a Talon. Quick station identification pause. We're back on track now. We had some technical difficulties. Uh, please excuse me. Hey, please excuse the stream. I beg for your forgiveness, and I will live the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. All right, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Missed shot by Bryce Dyson, yanked down by Reggie O'Brien. Reggie. Up to Towns. Towns mid-range. Missed. Champ Hansen oh, gets it. Hansen. Puts it back. Doing work on the offensive boards Woo! already. Please break your ankle. <laughs> <laughs> now, Magic City, they've shown week in and week out that they struggle against good big men. So if Champ has a good first day with Charm City here, it should be an easy victory for the Talons. Wow, good defense there on Dyson. Just couldn't. It just got boxed out. You saw Shane Kerrigan there. He yanked down the rebound. Only 6-6 playing the power forward spot. But I think Magic City is just kind of giving up. They know that they're a uh, real fast team, and they're just trying to play to their strengths now. Interesting shot selection. Shane Kerrigan pulls it down. Shane looking to make a play. He's got the smaller defender on him. We got Jamarius Randall being guarded by Champ Hansen. Ooh, easily beats Champ. Gets picked up by Joe Weber. And Joe Weber with the foul. I think that's a smart foul there. He had an open lane to the rim, and he just cut him off and forced a miss. We're going to watch Jamarius Randall here shoot two free throws. What a Trying beard on him. Yeah, what a beard. What a story for Jamarius. Came into the league, low overall slowly climbing in his way up. Some people would argue he is the best player in the SBF right now. At the very least, nobody can argue he has definitely blown the doors off of the expectation set for him when he was drafted. Oh, yeah. Champ Hansen now puts it up over Kerrigan. Kerrigan with the great defense. CJ Thomas now pushes it up to Bryce. Bryce looking to make a play, gets it over to Kerrigan. Kerrigan over to Hart. Hart back down to CJ Thomas. Going to try to do some work in the post. Turn, spin, shot is up and good. Easy to tell that the game plan for the Talons here has been get Champ Hansen involved. Ooh, stripped okay, by CJ right. Thomas. Picked it up. He's going to drive. Finds Jamarius Randall who lays it in for the easy bucket. Ooh. Reggie O'Brien could not guard both of them. Unfortunately, even though he did try. 
I mean, he played that as well as he could for the two-on-one. Joe Weber now doing some work. Crossover. Step back. Go to the opposite side now. Kicks it back out to Brandon Shipley. Brandon Shipley pops the three. Rims out. That's just unlucky. In and out. Shane Kerrigan now forcing the ball. Bryce Dyson pops the three. It's good. There's the speed of the Stingrays coming in to, uh, coming in to really kill the Talons in transition. Talons are known as one of the better transition teams in the SBF. But you just see that speed by the Stingrays team completely neutralizes their ability to transition. That's going to be a big hit to the Talons game plan going into this. Going to be interested to see what they do to make up for it. Have to wonder if maybe they're going to have more people crash the board. You got some bench substitutions now. Travis Price coming in. Alongside... Uh, I don't know who else came in. I think it was just him. Placing uh, Jason Towns. Yeah, and then they slid Joe Weber over. Yep. Oh, there we go. Now we've got... We've got good old country boy down low coming in for the first time tonight. Cletus White. Cletus White, baby. Now, this is going to be an interesting matchup. Shane Kerrigan can just blow the door off of Cletus oh, with speed. Oh, wow. Right as I was saying it. Shane. No match after that quick move. Shane Kerrigan. He, like I said, he's a small power forward, but that speed. Somebody as slow as Cletus. I'd like to see what Cletus now can do on the offensive end. Is he just going to back him down? It's interesting to see that they put Cletus at the four. Cletus is a stretch big. Nick Ridenauer now pushing tempo. Shane Kerrigan. Mid-range. Got it to fall. Wow. Cletus' defense didn't even matter. Now, the Talons here, they, they need this lineup to work. They have mortgaged oh, their entire dude. future away in That's favor of this season. That's Champ so Hansen cool. there just putting the team on his shoulders. That kind of offense there is definitely what they're relying on going to him again down low. Let's go, Hanson. Shane Kerrigan and once again with the easy bucket. Cletus White just non-existent down low on defense. What's what's your take on this game so far, Bishop? Let's go, Hanson. Okay. Is that your only take? Um, no. Champ with a three. Champ! I'm not sure if there's more than three or four points that haven't been scored by Champ so far. Uh, Champ. Shane is a monster. You take Champ out of this game, and I'd like to see what the score is. Ooh. So far, Champ Hansen is paying immediate dividends for the Charm City Talons here. Without him on this roster, right now, the score would probably be a lot more of a gap. You got to think that everybody in the organization is on the same page when you mortgage so much for a guy and then you immediately revolve your game plan around him. Nice block by Cam Whoa. Miles. And then Cam turns it over. That's what Cam's done all season. There's Cletus. Flashes the potential and then just wow. pisses you off. Champ again. She shot like this for me. Champ, 11 out of his team's 15 points right now. And like you said there, Bishop, you wish that Champ shot like this for you. It's not that he's shooting better. It's that he's just got a different role in the offense. That's that's just what makes basketball such an interesting sport. Is a player could go from looking absolutely terrible to looking great by just putting them in the right system at the right time. There's Pat the Travis Price move. Shane Kerrigan now tries the alley wow, for the little man. Wow, good defense by Cletus. Travis Price finishes it. 
There's the transition. 17 to 23, 15 seconds left. Jamarius Randall now up top. Jamarius Randall play. had some really good crossovers on Travis Price last time we saw them play. Forces the three, can't get it to go. Kerrigan picks it up. Oh. Misses. You have to wonder if they're going to make some adjustments to try to the aggressiveness of Champ Hansen, maybe doubling him down low, but then you got to worry about the three point shooters. If I'm the Stingrays, maybe I put Nick Ridenour on Champ instead. And I'm back. I know some of you may have heard that uh, little girl in the background call me daddy. That was my daughter. I promise. I brought her to the studio. Oh! oh. Nick oh. Ridnour with the turn. He Ladies goes, just... you bench me. I'll show you what I can really do. That's what happens sometimes. Some players just play better off the bench. Marius Randall gets the rebound from the Champ Hansen block. That's what wasn't Champ Hansen. That was Cam Miles. I apologize to Champ Hansen's family at home that's watching the stream now. Should. Interesting lineup out there right now for Charm City. There's one similarity between all five players. I just can't quite put my finger on it. They're all good at shooting. <laughs> they're all, they're all, they're all, they're all small. Yep, they're all small <laughs> shooters. Yep, that's that's the only similarity that they all five share. <laughs> that's the only thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the uh, little guy down low? Okay, there's. Oh, that's Jerry Little. Jerry Who's Little. He's there? a power forward. He may be a small power forward, but he is powerful. O'Brien on Ridnour. Get blocked. Written hour, great D. Yoinks it down, pushes it up to Jay Moore. The sophomore can't get it to fall. Cletus White now pulls it down. Up to O'Brien. Back up to Warren. Warren over to Price. Back to Reggie for some reason. Warren still sitting back at the uh, logo. Oh, nope, there he is at the bottom of our screen. Didn't see you go down there, little buddy. Travis Price forces it up for no reason. Nick Ridnour pulls it down. Vince Hart now doing some work on the wing. Jamarius Randall coming across key. Euro step gets it to fall. Ooh, there's your MVP. Yeah, good insight there. He was last year's MVP. And he's really showing why. Last year's MVP versus last year's second place MVP in Reggie O'Brien. Reggie O'Brien kind of having a quiet game, but has done pretty much everything he can on defense, making smart reads and playing good help side defense. Brandon Shipley now on the wing. Going to take the Reggie O'Brien screen. Going to back it up. Had some space, didn't want to shoot it. Might be a good choice there. Takes the Cletus screen. Now Cletus is a brick wall when it comes to screens. Look at that rebound. Uses the glass. Ooh. It's good. Cam Miles Normally just Shipley's, can't defend that. Normally Shipley's automatic from there, but when you got Cletus White down there, I suppose it's not that big of a deal. And oh well, wow! I don't think there's any other team in the league that alley oops to their point guard as much as Magic City. Am I right? When you have an athlete that's that fast and can jump that high, I understand why. There's the Reggie O'Brien turnover with the illegal screen. That's just killer. All right, Bishop, you never really gave us your insight into the game earlier. What, what are you starting to think about this game? I'm starting to think the Talons need to start picking it up or else the Stingrays are going to run away with this game. It's good. In What's your key to success? What do they need to do? Play better defense. 
There you have it. There you have it. Play better defense. Pushing down the court. Immediately, Ooh. good defensive stop on that end leads to a transition uh, point opportunity for Brandon Shipley. That's their bread and butter. Very close to making that a three point play. That's looks a weird like, free throw. Looks like I saw Champ Hansen come back into the game now. Let's see if that helps Charm City. They seem to have kind of halted all offensive production since he left the game. Jamarius now going to pop and pull. Can't get it to go. Ooh, got a hand on it. Jason Towns now pushes it up court. Joe Weber gets it to go. Another transition bucket with Hanson on the bench. It looks like Charm City may have figured out that if you want to score on these uh, stingrays, all you got to do is attack the rim. They've got no rim protector down there. Got the numbers again. Brandon Shipley for three. Can't get it to oh, fall. Another missed three. TJ pulls it down. Up to Kerrigan. Blocked by wow. Champ Panson. Impact Champ play. It all. Jason wow. with the crossover slam. Like Bishop said, Champ is doing it all. Good defense leads to great offense. All of these coming off of really good defensive plays. Bryce Dyson just taking over. We saw this last week against River City where Bryce Dyson just went into a different state of mind and completely willed his team back into the game. Forced a bad shot by Joe Weber. Vince Hart pulls, gets it to go. Ten-point game again. Bad offense leads to bad defense. Charm City is a joke, that's for sure. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't even think they're going to win a, win a game this year. They've already won five. Any user wins. He didn't yes. say user wins. That's true, Brandon. I mean, Excalibur. Tech. I mean, Bishop. Whatever the hell your name is. You I'm are. GM, okay? That's, that's what they call me, the GM. Jason Towns now pushing in transition, gets it over to Weber. Weber crosses, Weber's back and Jamarius down. They want the one-on-one. -on -one. Jason's open for three, waits too long. Shipley tries to oh, pull. Oh, what a block. What a closeout. Great job by Bryce Dyson. Bryce closes on Champ. Champ had the wide open three, but Bryce closed out at the perfect time. That's just the athleticism of the Stingrays. Vince Hart. Another, another corner shot. transition three. You got to love the consistency of uh, Vince Hart. Oh, just an errant pass. Why, of all people to miss that game winner last week, you just got to feel for Vince. He's so consistent every other night, every other shot. And then to miss the game winner when your team needs you the most. That's got to be heartbreaking. Clutch. And steal by Bryce Dyson. Looking to score before the quarter's They've over. Got a Bryce lot kicks of it out. Kerrigan, wide Here's open three. three. Bang! They wow. are just automatic from those corner threes. 17 point lead. Plus one. It's an 18-point lead wow. for Magic City going into halftime. Stingray's three percentage probably off the charts. Be Not going to make it easy to, to claw back into this one. Be interesting to see what kind of numbers they're putting up here at halftime. Let's see what Shaq can show us at the halftime report. The bar's looking like... Players of the half are Champ Hansen with 11 points, two rebounds. Then you got Shane Kerrigan back into the starting lineup after a year hiatus with 14 points, six rebounds, and three assists. Very uncharacteristic of the talents to have so few assists. You normally see a lot more ball movement on offense. And to well, see they the are Stingrays with no big every men category. out rebounding the talents. That's 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 just hustle. Game. And the blocks. Yeah. 
No rim protector, and you're still leading the game with blocks. It's just very interesting stats. It's almost like this all-speed lineup for the Stingrays is working very well. It scares me. Well, they've got a big lead to claw back from, but Coach Doc Rivers has calmed his players down and came back from worse. If there's one team in this league that I know just does not go away, that's Charm City. They're always in the game, even if they're down by 30. Oh, they definitely are. That's something that Coach Rivers is, has prided himself on. Especially near the end of games. Great ball movement here for the Magic City. Bryce Dyson, though, wow. just does it himself. Spin the spin cycle. The spin cycle layup. 20-point lead right now for Magic City. Jason Towns looking to make something happen. Dribbles it up. Joe Weber's going to cut. Can't find him on the cut. He's going to pop back out. Jason looking for somebody. He's got the smaller man on him. Crosses his guy yeah. over. Shoots Jason and was not even considering a pass that play. Vince Hart now hits the ball down low. Double team. Second man goes off. Shane Kerrigan's now going to set the screen. Jamarius Randall gets blocked. Oh. Tries to do the double teamed layup. Champ Hansen. Reggie O'Brien pops. CJ Thomas pulls down the board. Passes Shipley it up to Kerrigan. Jamarius There's Randall for corner three. three. Missed. Can't get it to fall. Champ Hansen now pops it out. Jason Towns three. Can't get that to fall. Champ with the offensive board and lay in. Champ is doing it all. And that looked like a frustration foul. Get him out of there. I have to wonder if maybe he was just doing it to get the next lineup in. Look at Jerry. So beautiful. Gotta love a guy of his stature with an afro. Very handsome man. Timeout for the Sting race as Shane Kerrigan couldn't find the open man who was standing in front of him for about seven seconds. And now for the cheerleaders. Bishop, any comments on the cheer squad? Look at them go. That's our future. That is our future. All-star game race. Shane Kerrigan, number eight. My guy, number two, baby. Can Shane get the ball in now? I mean, Shane Kerrigan's number eight, but he you have to remember, he was coming off the bench. Let's see if now that he's a starter, he can increase that number. And that's wow. a good way to do it right there is those kind of layups. Can't play much better defense than that. Joe Weber now. The Towns, the, ball up the Towns really got, got to do something here. Oh, they're going to get blown out. I agree. It's time to put up or shut up. Reggie decides he wants to shut up. Heaves up a crazy shot and misses. Bryce Dyson now They've pushes the tempo. Bench. Kerrigan and one! Wow. G-O-D. Well, for those of you watching at home, I forgot that I'm not allowed to yell while commentating. If that hurts your ears, I apologize. Yeah, I probably clipped the mic. I don't know what the hell that means, but I assume that I'm going to be uh, okay. Wow! Ooh, that's the size advantage I was talking about. A minus 19 today for Reggie O'Brien. That's just not like him. You're, if you're Charm City, you're not going to win games if your best player is a minus. You have 19. to wonder if it's. You have to wonder if it's maybe a confidence thing with them mortgaging to get another big man. I think if you're Reggie, though, you should be smart enough to know that it's to help you, not to replace you. Not like Peyton could have made all those plays without his great receivers. You know what I'm saying, dog? 
Good move by Weber. Mm, gangster. I said, you know what I'm saying, dog? You were talking kind of quiet and it cut out. I moved my mic away from my mouth just in case it was too loud. Ah, okay. Here we go with uh, Shipley. Walk. Pulls down the rebound. Joe Weber now pops for three. Pops. Shipley yoinks down the rebound. Mid-range. Can't get it to fall. Those are the shots you need from somebody you mortgage your future for. Jamarius Randall lays it in at the other end. The 23. Not a lot of jump shots going in at all tonight for the Talons. No, they're also they're not taking a lot of good ones. Some of them have a little bit of space, but you really haven't seen a lot of wide open jump shots for the Talons. Can we talk about the Stingrays defense? They did not see. I the agree. Easy the Stingrays are everywhere. No rim protector, but they're making up for it with speed. You have to question the coaching decision to not feed the big men when that's been what's working all game. Cam okay, Miles now hits it inside the Randall. Easy lay in. That's a good timeout. Very questionable offensive game plan from the Talons, but man, these athletic stingrays have just been all over the place with their quick closeouts on their jump shots, skying in for rebounds. Look at those it's, biceps. Can't, can't ask for a lot more. I want you if to shoot I me with one of your shirts. I'm going to need you to advance, please. Oh, oh, I uh, <laughs> thought I was muted there. <laughs> I'm back. That was somebody else at the mic, not your boy, Corver. Definitely not. Um. Cletus is in the game. I like me some Cletus. <laughs> some big country. Good that's shot. What, that's what we're going to call him is the big country. <laughs> he's the big dipper. Get it? he's always rolling around with a dip in his mouth. It's true. That's a big problem he has. <laughs> he's not overcome his addiction and it's crippled him. That's not funny, but yeah. That is something Cletus fights with every day. Sad because he's losing. <laughs> Cam Miles now, the center who's terrible dribbling it up the court from Magic City. I feel like at this point they're just taunting <laughs> Charm City. <laughs> Jamarius Randall over to the crappy center. Cam can't get it to go. Cam just, he shoots, and he shoots, and he shoots, and he just never makes anything. Marius Randall now pushes it up court. Dyson just in. Interesting, because I heard rumors from Wendy Lee that there was a GM who was trying to trade for Cam Miles. I also heard that Wendy Lee doesn't know what she's talking about. And I heard that it happened to be the Assassin's GM. Who's that guy? Some guy in commentary. Bishop? Can we just set, can we just end this game? I I I feel bad just even looking at the score. This is pathetic once again. <laughs> Charm City here. They are terrible. If if I were these talons, I would have a have l look in the mirror tonight and say to themselves, We well, can do better than this. Some of us don't cry during our losses. He learned from him. Yeah, you got to remember, he mortgaged his future for what he has on the court right now. Yeah, I'm definitely not overreacting by saying how terrible they are after one loss. Yeah. I mean, this loss is a big loss. Yeah, you cannot it's, recover. It's from a blowout. It's like if it's 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 like if it's like if a person I know, it's like if they shit their pants and they fucking. <laughs> Walked around in it all day. Bishop, we That's are alive. <laughs> Could you not? This is why we don't go to you very often. <laughs> he finally has free reign on the mic. And he goes to a pants shitting story. Nobody cares about what you struggle with outside of work. Keep it professional here. Vince Hart, three... 
Wow, just no wow. blocks now. Wow, are you going to rebound? <laughs> the very, very small Magic City Stingrays just out-rebounding the bigger Charm City Talons there. They are putting... I'm hearing rumors that Doc Rivers' job might be on the line here. Wendy Lee needs to remember that coaches aren't part of this league, too. It's true. Wendy Lee got got to get her this entire day. Got to get her stuff straight. The commissioner needs to stop assuming that I'm fired. That you're what? He needs to stop assuming I'm at fired, not assassinated. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed to make those kind of threats on camera. Yeah, come on, Lion. You, yeah, I, you know what they always <laughs> say, Lion's got a face for radio. Get it? You know what, what they say, Corver doesn't know how to use his microphone. Why? You know what they say about me? Because he screams I'm into it. I'm the best. I didn't scream into it. Yeah, you did earlier. You know you're losing my 31 right now? I do. Stop fighting. We're on air. <laughs> Mom, Dad, please, just stop. Right back <laughs> into the 28, game. 28, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> just, like <laughs> just like that. Just like that, it's a game. Way to go, Charm City. You're on the board. <laughs> Over to... Oh my gosh, Magic City's got players in I've never heard of before. <laughs> Some guy named Weber with one B. <laughs> Weber. <laughs> Travis Price with and the and one. one. Magic City, I don't think you should be having your third stringers in. I don't know if that's a good way to hold on to a lead. The, uh, the I think it's a great started. idea. They're okay. I think it's a great idea. Who is George? Some guy named George now dribbles the ball up the court for Magic City. Passes it over to some guy named Weaver. Weaver makes the three. And Charm the randoms are just making shit now. <laughs> Charm City still can't contain the Stingray offense. No, I don't know who Evans is. <laughs> Looks like both teams put in a bunch of random. <laughs> Timmy Evans the third. T3, baby. T3. <laughs> I like his mohawk. We're getting a good look at players that should never play in the SBF again right now. You're getting some good SBF basketball, everybody. Brady with the pass to George. George dribbles it up. George stands there. Dribbles to the left slightly. Passes it over to Weber again. Weber for three. <laughs> And oh, her plush. Wow. wow. I mean, I've, I've not seen a missed three point <laughs> shot a, yet by the Stingray, so. It's a 30 point game again. Barnes now. Dribbles on the left side. Crossing over. Passes it over to the actual Weber, the only good player left on the court. Why is oh. just Weber in? Evan, <laughs> Evans the third. Back <laughs> over to Weber. Weber gonna force the shot over George. Can't get it to go. Brady yoinks it down. Brady throws it up to George. Over to Wagner. Down to Weber. Weber fades. Can't get oh. it to fall. Weber, the only actual player on the... He gets a strip from Brady. All right, he beat him, but he managed to... Oh! Oh! Weber just puts Weber in the spin cycle. Oh, my Lord. Oh my Oh Atlanta. my Lanta And Weber misses that. George with the rebound. George with the great defense to shut down Weber. George pushes it. George down low to Ensley. Ainsley. Ainsley with the bucket. They got better in the second half! Weber now, still the only player we recognize on the court. Over to RE3, and nobody played defense on Mac. I uh, I don't know what happened. Brady just kind of stood there. But Charm City did it. George, over to Weber. Weber, putting put on some moves. Proving to be a weapon here. 
Drives to the right, lays it up over the Weber. He gets it to go! And the almost no contact foul. He has 10 points. Irvin Weber outscoring Charm City's entire team here. Here Not we go. Remotely true. Now we get a good look at Jerry Little. You know, you got to you got to feel for Shane Kerrigan though. Just puts a whooping on a team and doesn't get to play for the entire fourth quarter. That's going to hurt his chances for the All-Star race. Weber now got the ball up top, takes the screen from some guy I don't know, takes another screen, over to Mac. Mac misses, Brady pulls Good down Good find, the missed the open layup. Weber now, looking to do some crazy stuff. Weber's been an offensive threat here. I wonder why he doesn't pull up right now. I'm surprised he didn't, George now. George's gonna cross, shake, bake, Joe Weber. I had to foul him to keep him from putting him in the spin cycle. The spin ball, cycle is now. Now what you want to, to be. George. Over to Wagner or something. I'd over to that. Weber. Weber. Over to George. George, spin cycle. Three. Oh, God. Oh, Can't my. Can't get it to fall. Some guy named Donnie now. Passes it up to Warren. Warren with the crossover. Puts it up. Draws the foul on Wagner. That's one hot ref. And you're fired. <laughs> I mean, and they're monetized. And Why do you assume this is monetized? <laughs> look at his orange facial hair. <laughs> Man, he is beautiful. This he is so sexy. This Everything you could want in a player. Great. SBF basketball, ladies and gentlemen. Especially the part where they everybody took all the giving players. Joe Weber a hand as he leaves the game for the last everybody, time. Everybody, everybody paid to see the starters, and they didn't get to see him at all in the fourth quarter. That's some good basketball right there. Both teams just threw in the towel for the fourth quarter and put in their entire bench. Bench, yep. I'm sure that family whose whole paycheck went into watching this game appreciates everybody sitting on the bench the final quarter. If you are a Stingrays fan, yep. you should be very, very proud of this win. Nick Ridenauer puts it down with emphasis. One of the starters came back in and immediately just punished Charm City. Daniel now over to Warren. Warren, we're getting a good look at him. He's this year's rookie. Dribbles in, kicks it back out to Barnes. Barnes over to Jerry. Jerry back to Barnes. Warren, three! Doesn't fall. Nick Ridenauer rebound. Great board by Nick. Nick going to dribble it up himself. Nick got the littler guy on him. Oops, got the smaller guy on him. Pardon my French. Takes the screen. Nick Ridenauer just with all sorts of confidence. Passes back. Splash. Nick wow, Ridenauer I think this just, game could go to 100. I'm hoping so. That's right. Hold War the ball. War it's the best no. idea you got. Lay it is good. Wow. Nice job for Warren. Brings their shooting percentage up to 38 for the day. I I will say this about the Towns. Uh, I feel like they will never shoot this bad ever again. I, I mean, some, hope sometimes you just shoot yourself out of games. I mean, there are nights where you shoot under 40 percent and it's really bad and there's nights where you allow nearly 70 percent shooting and this happened to be a night where both of those happens for the talons i really don't think we're going to see this happen again this season i also do not think that you also have to remember it was only a 20 plus point game before the starters went out oh what a damn you have 40. to hope that he doesn't break both of his legs <laughs> while playing against the people nobody's ever heard of. And I mean, and when, when you say he's playing, we mean he's seconds. playing. Like Nick Ridnour is laying it all on the line here. Jerry forces some crazy stuff on a smaller man. Can't get it to go. Nick hustling down court. Wants that last shot because this means nothing. Oh, his coach screamed at him. He's going to stop and just dribble it out. 
I think I think. It's I think Doc out. Rivers was yelling at him. Yeah. <laughs> he might have threatened him. That might be a fine. All right, everybody. This may not have been the best game, but hopefully we kept it entertaining for you. It may have actually been the worst game. Magic City wins by 41 points over the Charm City Talons. Thanks for tuning in. I am Corver, and I am signing off. Until next time. Until we meet again, everybody. Ripola.